Hello everyone, time for my daily message. Uh, first, what I'm uh, impelled or compelled to to relay is, um, well, I feel I feel like ongoing sense of fear, and I don't I don't feel like we have anything to fear. I understand that it's a scary time for many people, but I think that um, I don't believe that we're in a state of random chaos. I think that everything happens for a reason, even this. And um, I want to remind everyone that. We are powerful, we are strong, and now is not the time to cower in fear at all. Now is a time to mobilize and um, create the world in a way. This is kind of almost giving us a pause. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. Random people passing by. I'm in the car. Um, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, we were going, I think, in the wrong direction in terms of the world that we were creating and the way that we were creating the world. And I think, you know, now we're having a pause We're we're reminded to be still, but I don't think in, in, and of course I'm not saying, you know, go out and shake everybody's hand. Of course, <laughs> don't do that. Be safe. But, um, also don't be afraid because no one goes before their time. Absolutely no one. Um, so don't, I mean, that's not something that we need to be concerned with. What we do need to be concerned with is seizing this moment. And going in a new direction, like, let's figure out the direction we want to go. You know, it's an opportunity. It's a wonderful opportunity to make things better. To, because there are people who are seeing it that way. Because now, as many of you know, and everyone should know, the Keystone Pipeline is project is back in the works. And uh, this had stalled a couple of years ago because there was so much attention brought to it and so much... Um, protest against it but now it's moving forward while we're all cowering in fear over this virus it's moving forward so we need to of course make sure that does not go forward because that will heat the earth and worsen the cl climate crisis that we're in so i think this is time to for us to mobilize and for us to switch things and make sure that we start to uh take care of our planet take care of our beautiful earth so that you know, we need to change so many systems. We need to change the way that we make food. We need to buy locally. And I, half the issue is here, I'm preaching to the choir, I know, but we need to, um, these are things that need to be done and we just need to figure out. And I think this is part of why we're having this, this situation uh, is in order for us to mobilize and make changes for the better for our environment. So we stop heating the earth and changing the climate in catastrophic ways so that our soil is uh, has nutrients in it again so that we can um, grow food that's actually um, healthy for us and doesn't, you know, give us all kinds of issues. Um, I think that we need to pay, have income equality and pay people who do jobs like working at Walmart and, and you know, wherever else the you know the people the executives should not be making like ridiculous amount more than the people who are you know stocking the shelves and doing the things that we really need to to stay alive and so i think that's what we should use this time for is to mobilize and figure out how to you know what direction we want to go and and focus on those issues and figure out how are we going to make those things happen anywho those are my thoughts for the day. Remember, don't be afraid. We're powerful. We're strong. Um, we're we're so going to get through this. But I think the faster we let go of the fear and we see this as an opportunity and mobilize, the faster things will get back to not just normal, but better than where we were going. All right. Someone comment. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so we can move the conversation forward. Thanks.